Well, that's right. Every week we travel across the Arklatex, highlighting the places that are ingrained in the community. And although this place is known for putting on an act, the theater community and city know this place is the real deal. It's been a fixture of downtown Shreveport for nearly a century. A place that could belong in one of those bigger cities. It's fantastic. She's still in really good shape, too, for such an old lady. <laughs> and that's an understatement. The Strand Theater has been sitting on Louisiana Avenue since 1925. When you walk inside, it's a show of its own. It's part of my history. It's part of our history. It belongs to the community. And um, it's our job and our duty to take good care of her. And that's what Jennifer Hill has been doing for several years now, serving as the Strand's executive director. A dream of hers to play the lead role. When they put the keys to this building in my hand, the first thing I did was call one of my dearest friends, childhood friends, and we're still friends. And I said, you're not going to believe what just happened. I have the keys to the strand. <laughs> it all started with two brothers fascinated by the new moving pictures. Julian and Abe Sanger bought the land on Louisiana Avenue, opening it up as a movie theater in 1925. And built this building to be a movie palace when the movies were silent movies and uh, a vaudeville house. So we're a typical vaudeville theater. Mm -hmm. And for about two years, we ran silent movies. Then the talkie started, allowing movies to incorporate sound. And that's what the Strand played for more than 50 years. But then in 1976, many thought the Strand was playing its final credits. Of course, we were just a movie house and we could only show one movie at a time, several times a day for seven days a week when all the multiplexes were building on the outskirts of town. Mm -hmm. So it was not economically feasible to keep her open. After nobody wanted to buy the Strand, three locals got together to make sure the show went on. Judd Took, Virginia Sheehy, and Jim Montgomery got together and asked ABC Theaters to donate the building to the nonprofit that they formed, which is what we are today. After years of renovations, the Strand stands as it is today, showcasing architecture and art from a world long ago. Isn't it phenomenal? And it's it's very similar to a lot of theaters that were built in the 20s. In fact, the Sanger brothers went on to New Orleans and built the Sanger Theater. So we're the flagship Sanger Theater, actually. Hosting everything from Broadway plays to concerts. If you can dream it and it's legal, we can do it, and this is exactly what I've been told by my board. Making sure the ticket booth stays open, preserving one of the last of its kind. We're so lucky, and in fact, in 1976, when it wouldn't sell, they were talking about tearing it down, which is the fate of many of these. There were actually 320 Sanger theaters across the South in Puerto Rico at one time, and there are very few of them left. Well, Hill says the best way to help them out is to buy tickets, of course. We also have other ways you can support The Strand on KSLA.com. If you have a place that you think should be featured on My Town, email us at news12 at KSLA.com. We'd love to hear from you.